What's up, y'all? It's Len with 715 Outdoors. I'm at Zingers and Flingers, or is it? Yeah, Zingers and Flingers. I always forget if it's Zingers and Flingers or Flingers and Zingers. Anyhow, this is the indoor gun range right between Wausau and Marathon City. And I have a new rifle. In fact, I have a new deer rifle for Evan. We're going to take it inside, get it sighted in. I put a new peep sight on it. And uh, we got the youth hunt coming up this weekend, y'all. So it's time. It's time to get this thing sighted in and get Evan ready for shooting this sweet new rifle. Let's take a look at it. I don't know how I got so lucky to get here tonight and there is nobody on the range shooting that uh, I can actually make a decent review of the Rossi Model 92. Now, I changed out the peep sight. Actually, this had like the, um, this had like an open sight on it, like those big like bullwinkle horns or whatever they're called. So I put on here the uh, this ghost peep sight because my, Evan's gonna be shooting this, he's lefty. And um, so this ejects from the top, which I really like. And um, I think that as a left-handed shooter, rather than having the um, empties as he's ejecting come across his face to have them go up, might be a little bit more favorable. So I'm gonna cite this in. I have some tools with me for doing the job to help me adjust this rear sight that I put on there. And so, um, you know, if you're adjusting the front sight, of course, you chase the bullet. So if you're shooting high, you move the front pin higher. But with the rear sight, if you're shooting high, you actually want to lower the rear sight. So I'm gonna get this thing dialed in and I wanna have it ready to shoot so that when Evan, when it's first, you know, we gotta consider his sight picture, but we'll at least be able to get it close and then he can just enjoy shooting and learning how to shoot this because as proficient as Evan was with a bow, he is a complete novice with a rifle. So the 44 Magnum, I'm picking this one because I think that the recoil is going to be um, easier for him to handle. And I think that it's gonna have plenty of knockdown power which with the, um, with the 44 Magnums that are designed, these are designed by Hornady for a lever action 44 Magnum. So that's what this plastic tip is all about because the way the magazine is on the bottom. So anyhow, I've talked enough, let's shoot.
Well, unfortunately, what we have here is kind of inconclusive because I put one right on the money and I shot the other two really low. So I take three shots because I want to have a, a, sight, a shot group and see where I need to move it, move, where it needs to be. So I suspect I'm going to have to move my sight to adjust up, but kind of inconclusive at this point. I'm going to send it down range. I'm going to take three more shots and see what happens. All right, well, let me bring the target back here and just share with you some of my initial thoughts here. Um, one is that it kicks a lot harder than I expected a 44 Magnum to kick. It, and it might be the shape of the buttstock. I'm gonna show you the buttstock here. It's got kind of a crescent shape to it. And I think my shoulder might just be a little bit too big for that, for the shape of that. So hopefully, um, hopefully it's not terrible for Evan um, because I want him to have fun shooting it but uh, it shoots real nice I like the trigger action I've never actually shot or owned a lever action rifle before I've used the same deer rifle since I was 12 years old my 1952 Remington 300 Savage I think it's a Remington Field Masters anyhow I've never shot another deer rifle for any meaningful amount of time so I don't have a whole lot of comparison but this thing's got some punch to it, so let's see how my shot group came out this time. Overall, I feel like this is a much better result. This is much closer to where I want to be. One, two, and three. So certainly not center punched by any means, but I'm shooting at 25 yards, and I feel like I have a pretty good shot group here. I'm gonna move my target into 15 yards and see just how much of a difference that's gonna make in terms of putting together a tight shot group. All right, well, let's take another look here at what 15 yards looks like. Felt a little bit better there. I'll tell you one thing I do like about this rifle is the redundant safety that it has both a, um, has both a half cock safety as well as the, the mechanical safety mechanism in front of the trigger. So I do like that about it. But this sucker kicks, man. The sucker kicks. I'm pretty impressed by it, actually. All right, so as you can see, I did have one yip a little bit low on me, but um, I believe these three are my line here. I'm gonna shoot, I'm gonna shoot at this target next and see how we do.
this is not what you want. I need a group that's going to be within about the size of a half dollar. So I'm going to move this thing in to about 10 yards and I'm going to switch over. I'm going to switch over to this side. That is the shot group that we're looking for right there. I'm gonna take five shots at 25 yards at the lower left side of the target just to see how we're coming in because 10 yards I would expect to shoot just a little high like that. So I wanna see if 25 yards, it comes down. So let me talk a little bit about my impressions of this rifle. One, it is powerful. There is no question in my mind that you're gonna punch a hole in a deer at 20 or 25 or 50 or 100 yards even. And uh, you know, it's like anything else. If you sight it in, it might be good for significantly more than that. Um, the concern I have is that I think this rifle is gonna be too much for Evan. I don't think this is a youth rifle. As lightweight as it is, it kicks like a mule. It kicks every bit as hard as my 300 Savage, which is a much heavier rifle. But um, this thing kicks. It kicks a lot. Um, it holds, it seems to hold six rounds um, in the, um, and this is stock. I know that you can make changes to the spring in the magazine to maybe uh, fit more but as it comes, it holds six plus one in the chamber. So um, I'm not used to a lever action rifle, so it's not as fast as a pump for sure for me, but I like the idea of it. I like the look of it. I think it's a rad little rifle. Is this the right rifle for Evan? I highly doubt it. I highly doubt it. Um, so, I might be talking trade-ins on this thing. We'll see. Um, I got things to kick around. I got to go home and ice my right shoulder. And uh, I appreciate you guys watching. If you want to critique my form or anything like that in the comments, please do so. I've been hunting a long time, but I don't know everything by any means. If you have experience with this rifle and uh, you have some feedback you'd like to share, I'd love to hear it. So I appreciate you watching. If you stuck around this long and you're not subscribed, I hope that today is the day I earned your subscription. So thanks for watching, guys. We'll see you on the next one.